get on. It's good. A 43-yard field goal by Fresno State's Steve Luke. And with 10.25 left, opening quarter, it is the Bulldogs who take the early lead at 3-0. PAT last week after 36 in a row, four of six in field goal. A 34-yard attempt to try to tie the game. It is even at three apiece with a minute 14 left in the first quarter. So like two heavyweights bashing each other in the first quarter. They move the football. The defenses then pick it up a notch, stop them, and the placement specialists come in, and they're both accurate. And we are where we began at three apiece in a game that is for the Big West Conference Championship. And he's coming out from three yards deep. 30, and he's got a lot of room. Only Pendleton can catch him. He's inside the 15-yard line, Calvin Means. It's a wonderful play by Calvin Means. Uh, kind of quite a story there. He was a basketball player when we originally recruited him to come play football. Went to UC San Diego, didn't like it there, wanted to come back and get that context for it. And now he's playing football, performing at Fresno State, doing a great job. Well, younger players on uh, college football teams have to play special teams where they wait their turn. You see a lot of guys selling out. He had a great seam. Of course, he's got the speed to get around the corner, but he lugged football pads for 87 yards. They start to get heavy down around the goal line, and unfortunately, he was caught from behind. Seven. What does Barsotti and Coach Jim Sweeney call? They're going to come out here maybe and do a little of that play action we were talking about on first down. Barsotti might come out here to the right and throw a touchdown. Full house backfield with Lewis, Cooks, and Myron Jones, and there's the pass play. There's the touchdown to Bart Lusky. Nice having the ex extra uh, quarterback up here in the booth, huh, Randy? Yeah, he knows the play calls and a happy time. Barstotti's very good on the roll. Yeah, Mark has done an excellent job in proving his ability to throw on the run. That's a perfect throw right there. Rich Bartolewski's second touchdown as a Bulldog. He's been here five years, fifth-year senior. Known for his blocking, but you know what he's going to talk about tomorrow. <laughs> you got it's not it. not going to be any good blocks. Nice to feel that leather in the end zone. A loop trying to make it 10-3, Fresno State. And, uh... Well, we'll talk about the touchdown of Barsotti to Bart Lefke, but remember the run of Kelvin Mee that set it all up. It's 10-3 Bulldogs. Seven-yard kickoff return. Turn the tide for Fresno State, then a Barsotti to Bart Lefke touchdown. This is Canley, and he has room. Sheldon Canley! Canley at the 40. 20. He's going all the way. Touchdown. <laughs> Welcome to San Jose State and Fresno State. F, if you have not seen the rivalry before, you are now proudly introduced. Claude Gilbert told me, Randy, before the game, this kid was capable of breaking a kickoff every time he touched it. A great move right here. Two people sucked inside, he's back out, now it's just a foot race, and he was not gonna get caught from behind. San Jose State says if Fresno State can do it, we can do it too. This has returned 187 yards that set up the Fresno State touchdown, and he's waiting deep. This is Means at the eight-yard line. He nearly broke it to the 37. There's a flag down. What's going on out there, guys, with the kickoffs? And now 10. Major obstacle for Barsotti in the offense. A marker is down. It's like a late hit on Barsotti back to the back. Shelley is close to the first down, but Kevin, I think you're right. There were a lot of bodies on the quarterback, Barsotti. That was a great throw by Mark Lynn. There was a lot of pressure there. Throw and catch. By and the a catch and fighting to get the first play. down. A lot like Judy used to do, too. <laughs> Knock those DBs down and get to the first. Both teams, 75 penalties on the year. Just a simple route. They used it earlier. He pulls up over the middle with his zone dropping back deep. It's wide open. Holds on to the ball. Great hit. Lionel Mayo was the man. 
and Veach will try to take advantage going deep on first down for Evans. He's got it at the 15-yard line, and he's tackled by Courtney Griffin. That's difficult for, for a defensive back to cover a receiver. You remember that, too. The ball's under throw, and you've got great coverage. You're well, going to see Evans get away with a push. Well, we talked about it earlier, Kevin, today. Uh, if a man's even with you, if you underthrow the ball, see, the defensive back cannot see. He's got to read the wide receiver. He doesn't know where the ball is. Evans sees it come underneath, and you're right, Randy. A little subtle push off. It is third down and ten. Here comes Cox. He unloads. Intercepted. Not a good play by Veach. Courtney Griffin intercepts, and it was Ron Cox that forced Veach to throw it up for grab. Cox, one of the best players in the in the nation, not just the Big West. Untouched, you've got to get at least a piece of him. You put all kind of pressure on Veach. That creates the interception. Big play, Fresno State. Big turnaround for the Bulldogs. It's difficult at any time you get down. You want to get away as an offense with some type of point, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, and this really hurts San Jose. That'll take some of the wind out of their sails. That is for sure. And Red Good protection. He's throwing long. Dwight Pickens, first down in San Jose State Territory. Well, Barsotti dropped back. Looked like it was all go patterns and just laid it up for Pickens. I don't know if he really had to die for this ball, Kevin. I think if he had kept running, he might, might have, have run right underneath it. Maybe been gone. What an unbelievable throw by Mark Kepfau. Throw hot. The San Jose State on third down and long has been coming with the blitz. They're not afraid of giving up the big play, apparently. Over the high ladder has been outstanding. Pinning teams back deep. High snap, but over high ladder has it blocked. And it was Eddie Taylor that blocked it. And now San Jose State has field position. Near midfield, number eight, Eddie Taylor. Morocco comes out of there with it, but a clean block by number eight. San Jose State's been doing this for years. OB stayed his normal steps. Somebody just let him free. A great block, too. And that's a defensive back coming in there when you know you've got a block. Uh, it's Down and three. The 27-yard line. Danny Holmes in motion. And Beach. And Nick Ruzzaroli throws him down. I think San Jose State was trying to run a quarterback draw there. I was just going to say. Also, but Terry Cook, number 67. Cook, the quickest defensive lineman of Fresno State. That was a designed quarterback draw. Beach was going to pull up and run. There was nowhere to go. Great play by Fresno State defense. Full house backfield. And over the top goes Sheldon Candle, and the Spartans score and take the lead. Well, Canley, kickoff return for a touchdown, and now from scrimmage, he scores. It's a simple off-tackle play. Award candidate. And that's one of the best top awards you can win, yeah. Turk, six of nine career field goal. With 11 seconds left. A 41-yard attempt. Trying to build the lead to 10, and it's blocked. Big play by Nick Rosaroli. I think he made that block after coming back from knee injury. How many momentum switch can you have in one game? <laughs> Looks like everything was here. Somebody must have let his man free. Center, holder, kick were right on stride. There's Dwight Pickens set to return. Jim Hughes. Will punt it away. You can see only 30 yards on his first try. Low snap. He's in trouble. Bulldogs with a big break. This is not the punter's fault. Special teams all night tonight. We've seen the kickoff, kickoff return. Now we have the punt rush team. Well, they brought everybody. Ten-man rush there. We're going to let the receiver back by himself. Bad snap, a low snap, and a big play for Fresno State. It's like deja vu from years ago. <laughs> That's right. And reach through the ball. On fourth and two, they'll go. Showing confidence in that offensive line. Canley is the eye back. 
first down for Sheldon Canley. He took quite a pop from Marquez Pope. But Canley third down. Hey, everybody, bring the house. Touchdown, maybe, by Craver. Here's Craver at the 10. Touchdown, Fresno State. Well, Kevin, you called it here. He dropped back. He needs some time. They were coming. Craver's out in the flat. You don't want to have to tackle him one-on-one. -on -one. I certainly wouldn't want to. <laughs> yeah. I'd let him run by and jump on his back. You can see he'll deliver the blow. You got it. Reminiscent of Walter. From the 33-yard line up. Pressure. Down he goes. The first sack tonight, and it was Zach Ricks, the freshman nose guard, 95. San Jose State's offensive line's done a great job all night. The old swim technique, they call it, where the lineman comes up over with his arm. He made the center miss, and as Randy, you said, the first sack of the evening, which is kind of a surprise. The way for games five on that first down carry. And it's Barsotti. Great blocking. 50, 40. Out of bounds. Inside the 30-yard line. Flags fly. A late hit. Well, Kevin, you and I are just talking how the wide receiver at the bottom of the screen was shaded inside. It was wide open there. They ran this play earlier where it's a, I guess they're going to go ahead and run the ball. This is a planned run. Yeah, Mark seemed right there, right after he made the fake, made the fake, he was going to run for a first down, makes a great run, and uh, yeah, that's an extra 15 yards. That's easy yardage anytime you get that opportunity. But Four yards, knock him off the football. Full house back for you. Outside. Touchdown. He's healthy. Myron Jones, his 11th rushing score this year. A four-yard dash in the first four seconds of the final quarter. Great surge by the offensive line. They cut him off here, and Myron Jones does the rest. But well, that's kind of a reward for him after blocking the whole game to throw him a bone and let him get in the end zone. Sure it is. There's a guy with outstanding speed. Ran 4-3-5 on a pro timing day. Pretty difficult to keep him from getting beaten into the corner. On second and eight, Beach with a deep pitch to home. What a play by Griffin. Courtney Griffin. You know, they say the sack excites the crowd as much as anything. I don't know. When to see a corner come up and play the run like that, that brings up major enthusiasm. Well, Griffin, who's played running back for Fresno State in the past, it's got to help him in determining a play he might see. He sees a quick pitch there. He comes up in force, and that's one of the toughest plays. It's tee-off time for the sack unit. Intercepted by David Shelton at the 41-yard line. All right, Jim. What is Jim, Jim Coach Sweeney going to say to Matt Veach when he comes off the sideline here? Well, it won't be Jim Sweeney. It'll be Claude Gilbert. Uh, we've been talking up here in the booth in between plays, and Matt Veach has been throwing a few balls up for grabs on third down. Uh, that was a big mistake on his part. Uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I've done that, you know, too many times also, and you'd want to possibly play action pass. It's it's going to go be reverse. reverse. Here it comes with Pickens. He's home free. Touchdown, Fresno State. side of the field. You see the linemen hit their man, release, walled it off. The extra point is good. 
Bulldogs go up 31 to 17. Pretty good. Martini with his first completion. Play action. In the flat to Canley. He breaks the tackle attempt of Courtney Griffin. What a run! To the seven yard line. There's a guy bound and determined not to let his team down. And uh, I got to tell you what, I thought he had his neck shortened there. Courtney Griffin came up and popped him really good. Uh, being 5'8 and 193 pounds, an outstanding play by Canley. Well, if we saw this hit coming up in the booth, you know he could feel it. You saw him there trying to get the ball away before he got hit. It was a great job doing that, and then great balance. Presence of mind to just take it straight up the field, run down from behind, but San Jose State. Four, Fresno State. Martini. Martini. Touchdown. Nine yards. It's a one-point game. A very subdued Fresno State crowd. Down in that end zone, you can see the San Jose State fans going nuts. Jim Kirk is out to kick the extra point here. Maybe. The lineup in the Mark, PAT formation. Talk for about lumbering into the end zone. Great effort by Martini and there. Sweeney won't be happy with that tackling right there. Up, they line up for one. Key phrase, line up. Low snap. They're going to have to go for it. Incomplete. 31-30, Fresno State holds on. Well, one of the most underrated jobs in football.